Nikola Jokic just won a championship and a finals MVP. But back in 2K16, he was a 68 overall. So I gave him 99 potential, and we're gonna see if we simulate all the way until 2023, if he can win a championship. Because I gave him 99 potential, the Nuggets did put him in the starting lineup, so things should work out pretty well for him in this video. At the end of season number one, KD was rookie of the year, Rodney Stuckey six man of the year is crazy, and Billy Donovan was the coach of the year. You see a lot of names that you might not have seen in a little while on some of these all NBA, all rookie, and all defensive teams, and Nikola Jokic does end up making the second team. The efficiency isn't great, but it'll come around as he increases in overall. We didn't make the playoffs this year, but Jokic ended up increasing in overall by four in the offseason. And just to help him out a little bit more, I'm going to also send him to training camp on tap potential so that his potential will go up. This was something that you used to be able to do in the old 2Ks and it was absolutely cheese. I'm also going to send Emmanuel Moutier to potential camp as well. At the end of the season, KD takes home another MVP. He must have been like the Luka of this 2K. DeAndre Jordan wins Defensive Player of the Year, but don't expect to see Jokic on these All-NBA or All-Defensive teams just yet. He's still got some work to do, and so did the Nuggets, as we only went 31-51 and 51 on the season. But to check out the stats and see how Jokic did, pretty similar to last year, we're still waiting on that big leap from Jokic, and in the offseason, we would definitely see massive improvements from Nikola. He ended up going up to a 76 overall, so that's a plus four, getting closer and closer to the 80 overall club. At the end of the next season, once again, Kevin Durant, of course, was named the MVP. Three in a row is insane, man. And Spencer didn't when he's on the maps, did they know, man? But yeah, no All-NBA just yet for Nikola Jokic, but hopefully in the offseason, he can crack 80 overall. Now, good news, we actually did end up making it into the playoffs. We are the sixth seed. We're taking on the three-seeded Minnesota Timberwolves. So we definitely saw big improvements as a team this year. And Jokic, his numbers are up quite a bit. He's even up to a 79. So he ended up progressing a lot throughout the regular season. So great stuff from Nikola. Round number one, we got the T-Wolves. They don't even give me the option to like simulate game by game, which is really weird. But we ended up losing in just five games. So a disappointing end to the season, but we lost to the eventual champions. Wiggins ended up being the finals MVP. But in the offseason, Nikola Jokic goes up to an 81 overall. Jokic is really starting to take huge leaps. And we also have this guy, Rudolph Warren, who's really good. And we've got another big man who's an 83. We've got a lot of bigs on this squad. But also, I am going to give Nikola Jokic an extension so that he remains in Denver. Because, I mean, you know, he's a Nuggets legend at this point. I want him to stay with that squad. And KD wins his fourth MVP in a row at the end of the season, of course. He's just him at this point. Well, we don't really have anything else to say. No All-NBA just yet for Nikola Jokic. But Emmanuel Moutier really out there hooping. He's doing good stuff. And this year, we were the four seed. So we keep getting better and better. 48 wins, almost 50 win club. And Nikola Jokic, again, kind of similar numbers to last season. But we have a lot of big men. I mean, we got Mike Conley on the squad. Now, we're really starting to put together a nice little team. Hopefully that can be a recipe for success in the NBA playoffs and we can win a championship just like Jokic did in real life. We're going to simulate all the way up until 2023 to see if Jokic can get that chip. Round number one, we end up beating the Clippers and in round two, we're taking on a 38 win Rockets team that we gentlemen sweep. In the conference finals, we're taking on the 41 and 41 Grizzlies and we ended up losing to them and the Raptors got a championship. Kind of crazy to see that DeMar DeRozan finals MVP. And Jokic is really starting to cement himself as one of the elite players in the league. He's up to an 86 overall. Could we see him crack 90 next year? Well, one thing we'll definitely be seeing is Kevin Durant winning MVP. Five in a row is ridiculous. I don't think I've really seen that in 2K, but KD's doing it in this, I guess. See, this is why KD should have just stayed in OKC. Do you see this type of stuff that he's doing in this simulation? He, he's going crazy, man. And this year, Emmanuel Moutier was All-NBA, but no All-NBA for Nikola Jokic. I thought this could be the year for him. He is getting close to that 90 overall. This year, we were the two seed. We're taking on the Blazers again. I really don't like how I can't see like who's on their team. I guess I can do this daily view thing and see that like 
Steven Adams is on their squad and getting rebounds and stuff, but I don't know, man. This interface is kind of trash, but we'll go ahead and do it the old-fashioned way. Just go ahead and go over to their roster. They got Dame, of course. He'll never run from the grind. Or actually, he's trying to run from the grind, but they're, the Blazers, they're not letting him. Anyway, round number one, we're going to go ahead and sweep the Portland Trail Blazers. Round two, we got the Lakers. That's another sweep. Conference Finals, we got the T-Wolves, and that's a gentleman's sweep. We're all the way in the NBA Finals. I mean, the T-Wolves, they want to chip before so this is a good team and we were able to take them down we're close to making the finals Jokic kind of having a fraudulent run to the finals but you know what our, our team made it so I, I guess it's working now we have the Boston Celtics only 42 wins on their season and we're up three to zero looks like this one is over we're gonna go ahead and sweep them we're NBA champions and Emmanuel Moutier is the finals MVP I bet you didn't expect to hear that sentence today but here we are Nikola Jokic is almost up to a 90 overall. He's up to an 89 here. So great stuff from Nikola. He's doing really well in this video. And at the end of the season, another Thunder player finally took home the MVP. It was Russell Westbrook instead of Kevin Durant this time. It's just a, an award dedicated to somebody on that squad because they're just cooking, I guess, man. I don't know what to say. Was that coach crying? What was going on in his picture? William Goodrich, are you good? Are you good? Uh, that, no pun intended. Haha, -ha, real knee slapper. Anyways, man, we are the number one seed this year. 63 wins. Ended off the year on a 10-game win streak. Nikola Jokic, some really good numbers. Probably the best numbers we've seen him put up in this video, which makes sense. He's a 90 overall now. And we're going to go ahead and try to repeat as NBA champions. We're coming into the playoffs as the best team in the Western Conference conference and we just got to take down an AC to Clipper squad which is going to be easy we do that in a gentleman's sweep but unfortunately in the conference finals of course it's the MVP team the Oklahoma City Thunder they're going to take us down they've also got DeAndre Jordan who's probably still pretty good in this so yeah we ended up losing Russell Westbrook had 21 assists I don't know what we're supposed to do about that and Nikola Jokic he's had a good run I do notice though that the assists aren't nearly as high as they are for him in real life I mean he's a near triple double average type of guy but he's not really doing that in the simulation Russell Westbrook wins a chip and a finals MVP but Nikola Jokic is now up to a 91 overall as we head into the second to last season of the video we're heading into the 2021-22 season and Anthony Davis is named the MVP of the league finally somebody besides an Oklahoma City Thunder player takes it home and AD gets a DPOY as well Emmanuel Moutier was named to the All-NBA first team. He was cooking. LeBron is on the Lakers, even in the sim. They knew where my glorious king was about to sign. And Nikola Jokic, no Jokic signing on any of the All-NBA teams, man. That's kind of tough. But this year was definitely a fall-off year. We only won 43 games, and we ended up losing in the first round. Disappointing stuff. Nikola Jokic, though, putting up some of the best numbers of his career. No All-NBA when he's doing that type of stuff it is ridiculous, man. But we've got one more season to try and make things right and end it off on an NBA championship. But this year, it's the Philadelphia 76ers winning the chip. Nikola Jokic is up to a 92 in the offseason. Emmanuel Moutier is still our best player. We do have a good team around Jokic, though. We've got Demetrius Diamant. Bro, there's more syllables in his name than he has hairs on his head. Okay, anyway, Nikola Jokic is named the MVP of the league. There we go. That's what we like to see. Jokic won two in real life, but at least he got one in the simulation. And, of course, he is All-NBA first team alongside Emmanuel Moutier, the greatest player in the league. And Jokic also ended up making All-Defensive first team, so that's kind of surprising. He's not really known as a defensive player. All right, round number one, we got the Utah Jazz. We're going to go ahead and sweep them. Round number two, we got the Dallas Mavericks. I wonder who they have because they don't have Luka in this, obviously. And, I mean, yeah, they've got Vucevic, Leonard Palmer, Tyus Jones. I, I feel like we're definitely better than them. So we'll see how this goes. And they're going to go ahead and beat us. W Simulation 2K. But that is where we're going to end it off. I hope you all enjoyed it. Here are all the stats, and I'll also show you all the accolades. That's it, though. Have a great day. Be sure to like and subscribe.